Today we are gonna demonstrate how to play Superfan with Do It for the Fans Augment optimally in a Master Lobby. Let's break it down step by step. Early game, the game started with the loaded carousels portal. As for first augment I got, Do It for the Fans, and we are gonna focus on Do It for the Fans Augment. If you get this augment your headliner's damage heals your Superfans for 22% of the damage dealt. So this augment makes the Superfan tanks more durable and gives our carry more time to dish out damage. The best comp to pair up with this augment is Annie carry. Early on we have to play around Annie. Alternatively, any KDA or Superfan board is also viable. As for the headliner, we need to pick up Annie Emo headliner. The Spellweaver version is not preferable for this comp. In the early game, the comp will look like this. Round 3 to 1 is the best time to reroll for Ain 3 star, because till level 4 you have the best odds of getting 1 cost units. If you manage to get Ain 3 stars by 3 to 1, you can go easily for win streak for good econ. But as I had earlier leveled up to 5, and didn't get any 3 star I needed, so ultimately I decided to go for a lost streak. We have to be mindful about preserving health as much as possible. Like here I went on a lost streak till stage 3, but still had around 50 health. And always remember to scout before you start rerolling. Itemization. As always itemization is important for this comp. Annie is good with blue buff, jeweled gauntlet, and Nasher's tooth. Alternatively, Rabadon's death cap, Spear of Shojin, and Hextech Gunblade are also good. Ari's best in-slot items are Hextech Gunblade, Blue Buff, and Nasher's Tooth. Alternatively, Spear of Shojin, Jeweled Gauntlet, and Death Cap are usable. For our main tanks Kennen, Lilia, Echo, and Neko can use Ionic Spark, Warmog's Armor, Dragon's Claw, Protector's Vow, Even Shroud, Steadfast Heart, Sunfire Cape, Redemption, Gargoyle Stoneplate, Crown Guard, Bramble Vest, Augments, Any Reroll, combat, or gold-based augment is good here. Pandora's item, heroic grab bag, do it for the fans, determined investor, healing orbs, trade sector, jeweled lotus, return on investment, last stand, pharmacist, inspiring epitaph, heroic presence, and emotional connection are all good augments. Mid-game. For the second augment, I got the determined investor. Finally, at 3 to 5, I got my Annie to 3 stars. After getting Annie to 3 stars our priority should be keeping econ and leveling up in intervals. So, in the next round, I leveled up to 6 and added Seraphine to active KDA and Spellweaver, and ended my losing streak. Annie is already doing over 8k damage against a 3-star Jinx. Late game, I got healing orbs as the final augment for this comp. Right after that I got Lilia 3 stars and leveled up to 7, and added Nar for 4 Spurfan. Fast forward 4 to 1, I got the items from the Determined Investor, and put it on Nico. Next, I leveled up to 8 and replaced Seraphine with Ari but lost against a full 3-star punk comp. Then I picked up an emo emblem from stage 5 carousel for 2-star Ari, and a Leoi and Poppy for 4 emo and more tankiness. Placement. We need to place Echo, Neko, Kennen, and Lilia in the front, so all enemy units focus on the Spurfan units, and Annie and Ari in the back row. Also mindful of enemy KDA Akali or Crowd Diver. You can put a Leoi tentacles in the corner bottom row to keep our Annie safe. The final board will look like this. Gameplay. Like here I made a mistake and forgot to put a Leoi on board. As a result, enemy Akali was able to execute my backline easily. Unfortunately, he lost to another opponent, and I won by outsustaining the opponent.
I highly recommend you guys to try it out for yourselves to push your rank. Remember to subscribe to our channel, Item Swap, so you never miss out on our latest videos and exciting content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy gaming!